So one day I'm speaking at the school and this little girl comes up to me afterwards in tears and told me that I saved her life. I was thinking like, no way. She said I was gonna commit suicide, but because of your story, I wanna live. She was gonna commit suicide if I didn't speak? Wow, yeah. And I shifted things. I yeah. went and told my wife, I said, hey boy, I gotta quit my job. Yeah. I need to go full time and be a full time motivational speaker. You know, for well over a decade, I've been privileged to travel all over the country and all over the globe with my motivational, inspirational speaking. For the first 10 years, it was primarily like in the youth space, right? Like they need someone to challenge them, to stretch them, to pour into them, to encourage them, to give them that fight to move forward. So I've been doing that, I've, I've reached millions of students. Some of you sitting here, you don't know your mom, you don't know your dad, your folks are dealing with trouble, you're dealing with poverty, you don't know what you're gonna eat when you get home, I get it. But what I'm telling you is keep fighting, keep pushing, keep pressing. I have a voice now that speaks to adults. I have a voice now that speaks to other speakers. I have a voice now that speaks to other entrepreneurs to now stretch them and challenge them to show them what next level living is really all about. We can give you all this game. We can give you all this insight. We can give you all this depth. We can give you all this knowledge and all these systems. But if you don't believe that you can do six figures a month, if you don't believe that you can have a seven, eight figure, 10 figure business, if you don't believe, what's the point? One thing I love most is the opportunity to share my story. You know, whether I'm on a show or a podcast or I take the stage, I just really believe there is so much power in your story. When people realize where I was before and where I am now, they now know change is possible for them as well. This is a guy that's gonna give us the tools. He's gonna give us the wisdom and knowledge and how to get to the next level. You know, one thing I want the world to know is that you can live your best life. Right, like I come across so many people that's barely getting by, and it's like, you wasn't born to get by. You were born to thrive, all right? That's why I challenge people, like, to always be grateful for what they have, but never settle. It's always more you can have, you can attain, you can achieve, and you can experience, and that's the message that I give every single time I take the stage. I think the reason why I'm so passionate about people is I know how it feels to struggle. I haven't always been in this place in my life. Like the absence of my biological father, diagnosis of ADHD, drug and alcohol abuse for over 10 years, repeated failure of school. Like I know all about failing, but I also know about winning. So I'm passionate because I tell people like, I don't care what you've gone through, I don't care what you've experienced, you can bounce back and live your best life. You know, one thing that really surprises me is the global impact that I've been blessed to have. Right, my mom had me when she was 16 years old. Some people would say, Jeremy, you ain't got no business traveling the world, right? And I'm not just talking about global impact like the 40 kids that we sponsored for college in South Africa. Like, that's amazing, right? The work that we're doing there. But when I think about when I speak in India, when I speak in South Africa, when I speak in Australia, like that global connection is different. I had one engagement, there was over 30 different interpreters there. And though there was a disconnect when it came to the language, there was a connection when it came to my heart. One thing I think people struggle with the most is their belief system. When I take the stage to speak, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to challenge and convince and persuade people to believe in the greatness that's inside them, right? Like I think about our own Next Level Speakers Academy. Like we got over a thousand people in our community and before they became professional speakers, they all struggled with belief system. Is it possible for them? And so now they see it's possible. Right now they're doing great work and together we're changing the world. But when I take the stage, my biggest mission is to help people believe in the greatness that's inside them. You know, when I look at the scope of work that I do, it's not just the speaking or the coaching or the books or the traveling or the businesses I run. I truly believe that what I do day in and day out, this is God's work.